Hi, I'm Jeff Lemon with Arctic Breeze Air Conditioning, and I'm uh, staying here at Coral Lagoon uh, Marina and uh, doing some uh, retrofit work on a 38-foot uh, catamaran over at uh, Marathon. This definitely isn't Canada here. It's a, a whole lot nicer. Beautiful marina here. And uh, we're uh, going to be going over and doing some work on the boat shortly. I'm going to be installing a 144-volt DC air conditioning system to uh, complement the 144-volt battery pack going in for the uh, electric drive motors. And uh, we'll see how that goes today. We're going to check it out and see what we need to put in it and uh, then get all the parts made up and uh, come down in another few weeks and get it all installed. Uh, we're here in uh, we're here in the Kinex Catamaran retrofit. Uh, we're looking and measuring. This is the existing air conditioning system. Uh, uh, it has been uh, installed since uh, we think 1992. Not really sure, but it's uh, it's it's had its day, and it is a 110 air conditioner. And it takes uh, the only time you ever run this is uh, at dock. So if you wanted any cooling on the hook or in there, you'd have to have a generator, which this boat has not had and um, and what we're trying to do is measure the compartment where it exists today uh, to see how the new 144 volt DC air conditioner will be placed There's and tons of room and the uh, and uh, Jeff you want to say what what you know will be removed and what the differences are so the yeah. thing you have in your hand, you don't. Uh, so you don't need that uh, energy no. wasting tube, huh? That's right. Because so tell me about that versus the new system. What 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 we do is set up um, what I would call a free blow air conditioning system. So each evaporator has its own fan right on it and blows the air out. So you're not trying to push air through a duct, which is very inefficient. Every time there's a bend, all this corrugated ducting, it 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 stirs up the air. It it, it reduces the flow. So the amount of air you get out of these vents is nothing compared to what that fan could actually put out if it was allowed to blow freely into a room. And as the air passes through all these vents, it's picking up heat from inside compartments like this. It's just, um, it, it's always been the way that, that it's been done, but it's very inefficient. It's, it's just, uh, if you can mount separate evaporators scattered around the boat where you want the cooling uh, and and just instead of running duct this big we're running two small hoses and a wire bundle so we're running something that takes up this much space and it, it's much more effective to do that to transfer the refrigerant to where we need it as opposed to trying to transfer the air to where you want it it doesn't pick up the heat on the way uh, it's as cold as it should be and you get a lot more air volume. Now at 144 volt DC we kind of looked at it, we'll do the slides throughout this movie, but uh, what was what was an amperage? You had like 3.8 amps? 3.8 amps. Uh, oh wow. And at, at uh, 144 volt and that was the main motor driving the compressor. Okay. And then the total 12 volt uh, consumption which, in, which included two evaporator fans and the uh, uh, water transfer pump for the cooling of the uh, condenser coil drew a total of 12.6 uh, amps I believe at 12 <laughs> volts so our total power consumption to get about 20,000 BTUs of air conditioning was 750 watts in that oh range. my goodness so that means that on the hook overnight you, based on the present battery packs that are planned yeah you should have no problem running air conditioning all night long with no noise. Yeah. Except for a compressor kicking on every so often. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and it only kicks on when it's needed. Yeah. On demand, and they're all thermostatically controlled. We're in the port side uh, berth. And uh, we're in the, you can see that we're down the engine room. Everybody knows we're, as any of the videos, but what we're trying to do is determine where the air handler unit would be. If you wanted to uh, maintain that for storage, a uh, compartment like this, we can put it, you know, coming through up here. Okay. And then because of this has got a door on it, you still have the rest of the storage compartment available. So that would work out, you know, either way, that would work out quite nicely. Um, if we put it, in there then you're you're going to basically cover this all up 
with an air intake vent and then the evaporator blowing out and then so you're, you're that whole storage area you'd be wasting whereas if we put it up here I like up here because that cause, and then we have a we have we have three things we have a um, uh, we have the uh, the line to the evaporator, yeah, and then the line back to the compressor, yes, okay, and then we have a wire, which uh, a cable, yeah, which turns it on and off and sends signals back to it, yes, right, and then you have another tube there, and what's that yeah. tube for? The tube is a drain tube because anytime you you're using air conditioning, that's like a dehumidifier, okay, it, it condenses water because the coil's cold and and that needs to exit the boat. That needs to exit the boat. Uh, typically, what most people do is they'll just run that into. Um, like a bilge or a bilge, or uh, if if the bilge is pretty dry, um, in a situation like this where we're over top of the uh, uh, for this room, anyways, you could probably run it just straight out of the hole. And that's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking that everywhere where they have, we could just put a through hole and yeah. drop it just like we dropped the uh, the uh, dish water, you know, yeah, things like that. Yeah, almost like a... It's gray uh, water, so... Yeah, and you could put almost like a fuel filter vent on it, uh, or a fuel tank vent on it you don't need a, a big through the hull fitting you can go with a you know like a 1 8 npt size oh, okay. uh, piece of plumbing uh, okay. so it doesn't have to be massive it's just gotta you know there'd be a drip 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 of water coming out of it when everything's running and uh